Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha Wisdom. I'm Mr. Cassandria. We're going to be talking about the major lines. Yes, I know, we've had them before, but there's more information and I want to go into more detail with you. We will cover the lifeline the entire week. There's that much to say about the lifeline and even more. So let's get started. I have your check sheet for you and you can follow along as you gather all the information you would need. All right, over here. It says, the major lines, they are the life, head, heart, fate, and the fate has several names. Saturn line, because the line moves toward the Saturn finger. Also, it can be called a career because it represents your job, what you want to get into, therefore a career. Or life path. What direction are you going in? So all those terms do apply. Now there are one or two others, but they're not used as prominently as these are. So these are the ones you have. When a line is of average length and form, its function is good with few concerns. So if you're analyzing or you're reading a poem, there's just so much you can say about it. Other than the person is well balanced, good diet, at least the diet they have is not affecting their organs in a negative way, your mental aspect, your psychological aspect, you're just in pretty good balance. You do exercises of some sort, so physically you're okay. And when you are, this is what your line looks like. It's straight, it's not broken. Okay, let's go on. However, when the line is weak or broken or missing, or an unusual length or form, then this type line becomes interesting for analysis. You have something to say about it. All major lines start at the same point in the poem, but they vary hugely in where they end. And that applies to your left hand and your right hand of the same person. You will see changes. So if you look at your left hand now, and compare that what's in your right hand now, you'll see differences. You really will. The major lines slowly change and develop throughout one's lifetime. And that applies to all the major lines. But the one that seems to want to get into that change very quickly, if you do something about your balance that's throwing it off, then you will of course, have to do something about that, okay? So it's so important, but we will be getting into that. So let's look at this one. You're looking at what an ideal clear line looks like. So when we look at this, we can see that this line is clear and strong. It began somewhere between the thumb and the index finger and runs a semicircle around the thumb ball. Okay? That's how they move. Now, if yours doesn't look like this and it looks a little weak, it's not well defined, that is a single line, not broken, not scraggly, not short, then this means you have established stability, a sense of security, practicality, and physical vitality. If you're in balance, your line will be well defined, unbroken. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Let's see what that same type line looks like on a photo. See, it comes around. Okay. All right, let's move on to another one. Now, just as a comparison, 
This is a good, clear, strong line, but it sweeps widely. It doesn't end right in here, it just sweeps beyond that gap area. So that's what makes it wide and um, very wide and sweeps. Now let's take a look at what it looks like on a photo. See how that sweeps? Here's the center and it sweeps beyond the center. Actually right over into the lunar area. That's very characteristic of this type of line. So let's see what is going on when it sweeps like this. Why? When you have a lifeline that sweeps very wide around the thumb ball into the center of the palm, this is a sign of enormous energy and lust for life. So this is a strong person has a lot of energy and that thumb ball is standing up. That's very strong. In fact, the lines that are apparent are all well defined. Looks, looks pretty good. We're not looking up here, but wherever we see, there's, there's not too much going on in this hand. It's so this simply means the person is very well focused. Okay, let's leave this. Remember, that's the wide. And here we have one that's close to the thumb. You see? It starts that turn before the center point. It's almost like straight down, almost. Okay, close to the palm. Close to the thumb, sorry. When you have a lifeline that's almost straight and stays closer to the thumb, this shows caution and timidity. And sometimes when you see this, there might be a break in the, in the palm or the line. So how does your hands match? Do they match any of these? And let's take a look here. Here's one that comes in pretty close. All right. So it depends on what the person is doing with their life, because you're in control. Believe me, you can make the change. Just check your diet. Make sure you have a rigid physical protein, uh, routine of exercise, your diet, and you sleep being well. This will strengthen a poor lifeline or something you're not satisfied with in a matter of months. So things change. That's why they're uh, major lines. That's how they operate. Okay, let's end at this point and we will get in further as we proceed with the more about the lifeline. Well, thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this, share and subscribe. And welcome to the new subscribers. Very happy to have you. Love yourself, love and light. Bye.